Hello and welcome to Film Companion South. You're watching not a toilet review. My name is Rida Ranjan. This week's movie is V, which released on Amazon Prime, directed by Mohan Krishna Indraganti, starring Nani, Sudhir Babu, Niveta Thomas, and Aditi Rao Hyderi. Sudhir Babu plays police officer Aditya, who is a super cop. He catches criminals, he advocates for social causes, and he's also been voted as the most desirable man in the city. His life is going all hunky-dory when suddenly a criminal turns up and begins a murder spree where at the end of every murder he leaves clues for the cop. Now being a super cop, Aditya has to catch the criminal, save lives and also protect his own reputation in the process. The film reminds you of pulp fiction novels that you read on train journeys in your childhood. A cat and mouse chase between a psycho killer, an honest cop, a mysterious woman and few red herrings, which of course turn later into soft, fluffy pink herrings. Also, most of our films shy away from showing gore, but this one doesn't. The murders are shot like money shots with wonderful details and devious setups. Nani's character is a pot smoker who plunges into his murders with the glee of a geeky science student. He takes hilarious pot shots at people who are steeped in film culture and he also likes to spook his co-passengers during journeys. It is the most fun I've seen Nani have with a character in recent years. Following a classic two-story plot, the film ditches realism, opting instead for a heady masala vodka cocktail that would have been a hoot at the theatres. Cinematographer P.G. Vinda whips up stylish frames in every scene and Taman's background score is squeezed to the last drop by the director to keep the film space going. However, as you spend some more time with the film, it slowly begins to descend into cliché land. The film gradually sacrifices all its originality and you can see the director trespassing into Puri Jagannath territory, both geographically and metaphorically. A thriller is supposed to keep you guessing, but here it's like a bingo of clichés. And you can see the film tick almost every box. Like I wanted to see a scene and say the topana, but I was saying the tropana. Amit Trivedi's music seems like bloatware on what could have otherwise been a stock Android experience. In terms of performances, Nani is competent as always, but for a thriller to work, you need two strong characters to face off against each other. In this film, Sudhir Babu's character is let down due to the lackluster writing. He might be the most desirable man in the city, but not certainly for the writers of the film. Niveda Thomas is unfortunately reduced to just a pretty face by the end of the film and Aditi Rao Haidari looks like a painting. Now I understand that a picture conveys a thousand words, but you still need good dialogues at the end of the day. Now it's easy to criticize the film, but one needs to keep the context of the film's history in mind. The film was originally slated to be released on March 25th, right at the beginning of the lockdown. Now the film has been clearly made for the large screen experience, but it is in its transition to the OTT platform that makes its flaws seem even more glaring because those cinematic moments have had no payoff. At the end of the day, despite a few flashes of ingenuity, the film descends into a set of tropes. As a crime thriller, its biggest crime is that it's not thrilling enough. Our final verdict for the film V is we will, we will grab your attention in parts but kinda disappoint you. Thank you for watching our review. For more such interesting videos, please subscribe to Film Companion South by pressing the bell icon. Movie highlight: Nani Jasbesh's combination super. Business gado, Bajaj. Mar me ko? Hey, partner, ni farmer jaisen do. Hey, laptop mein palu hoshi Nani achne pudu. Laptop mutam hangai pe endi. MJ ala? Mar final ending gala ondi. Hey, ending super highlight. Kani mobile switch off hai pe. Ending rapes, Ustam. Hey, ATT platform, Amma Mogudu Nani.